News continues with new developments in the rescue of more than 120 dogs seized from an Adams County home. An investigation now underway and 7 News reporter Amanda Cost uncovering what led up to the raid. And down this drive where the Maserati and that Mercedes are parked, inside that home a man was breeding way more puppies than he was selling. It took some time for him to build up to more than 120 of them, but it also took some time for him to be reported to the authorities, partially because of where this home is located. We're going to zoom out and show you a lot of open space around here. But when the Adams County Sheriff's Office finally showed up to this home, what they found inside were dogs living in filth. Him. Neglected for so long, cleanup is by the pound. I'm probably taking off anywhere from you know, four to five pounds of just solid matted fur. Spotted, stained, and raw right. skin from living in feces and urine. An excoriated area from where the urine and the feces being packed against the skin has caused a raw area. These two, plus another 120 dogs, were seized from this Adams County home, seen here on the doorstep, stacked in kennels. 122 dogs. How does something like this happen? You know, it, it, we're classifying this as a hoarding case. One man hoarding so many dogs that the rescue effort had to be split up. Half went to the Denver Dumb Friends League, while 32 dogs and 28 puppies came here to the Adams County Animal Shelter. He uh, was a Havanese breeder, um, and I think he just felt that the situation got out of control and it was just too much for him to handle. Outside the home where the dogs were found, cars, kennels, but at the door, no answer. Oh, you'd rather not stand up, but I need you to stand up just for a little longer. It could take weeks before the dogs are in adoptable condition, able to settle into their new homes. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. And the Adams County Animal Shelter, along with the Denver Dumb Friends League, they are going through these dogs one by one, getting them in the correct condition, also doing behavioral health exams to go through what they've been through in this home to see if they could really be adopted out to homes. So far, they say it's looking good. Dogs from the Adams County Shelter, they will be available for adoption July 23rd. Reporting live, Amanda Cost, 